everyone. What a beautiful day. A great weekend with the coin seminar. A lot of key information is being passed along through through these channels. Just remarkable. Let's see, hey blockhead, coin and card, lucky coin, coin dragon, Paula, Michael Mullins. Jonathan, Hoosier Hillbilly, welcome, Smoking Coins, there's, there's Jeff Dunn, I appreciate y'all coming in, this has been an experience for me, hey Silver Rookies, it's been fun, I mean, been, been racking my brain on, on coin supplies, and the in-depth of what can be had and what can be needed and it's just amazing hey Lincoln there's you girl Amy Smith hello mr. professor HD Shovelhead, welcome. All right, well, today we're going to talk about coin supplies and an in-depth look of stuff that could be needed. So we're going to start off. There are there's there's two by two pages that could be that could be used. Um, there are types of bags. Um, there's books. There are an assortment of coin tubes. There's a coin tray from a bank that could be used. Cardboard flips. There's paper coin rolls. Um, red box to store coins in. having a coin you need a way to protect them today I'm going to go over some coin supplies and some different supplies you need or should have once you have the coin or coin in, in question so if you're dealing with proofs high dollar coins shiny coins coins without any type of flaws or anything cotton glove is a great tool to have so when you actually touch the coin you don't put any smudge prints on it and take any type of value away from the coin but since 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 coins are small and hard to see another aspect of a coin supply could be a coin loop you got to be able to see what you're looking at so coin loop is a great coin supply to have there are USB scopes they 
even make um, a snap-on magnifier that you can put on certain um, cell phones and that will enhance the picture of what you're looking at. Um, another thing that you could use is re reading glasses. Alright, so this is exciting. And so, now that we have the coin, and then we have what we need to look at the coin, let's talk a little bit about supplies. And one thing that could be missed in the supply aspect of coins is having some type of coin book or reference web pages. So the most common coin book there is is the Red Book. It has a bunch of key information in here um, on what to look for, the, the mintages, um, even has a little bit of, of grading so you could look up and see what the grade of your coin is. Um, and it gives a rough idea of prices. Now, these prices are inflated, so don't go by the red book just just so you have a number. There, there are many other references out there to to, um, to look up prices on. Uh, some other type of book is. You got the Cherry Picker's Guide, and there are two volumes to this, and this is volume one. And then you got volume two. And as as you're learning and in depth of the coins improves and you enhance your ability of looking at things, there are books that just deal with the Lincoln Sense. And there are books that deal with flying eagles and Indian scents. And then there are specialty books. Now, this only deals with the, the, the two cent piece. So, just just because someone says, oh, let's go get some coin supplies, it means a lot more than just having tubes or some type of case to put them in. And then some other some other uh, places that you could get information from. You have Variety Vista. You have Double Die. You have Copper Coins. You have the One Million Penny Project Blog Spot and a lot of key information stuff in there. Um, cuts on coins, uh, Mad Die Classes. Uh, increase my audio, okay. Let's see if this... Alright. Let's see if that is, is working. And then you have the uh, the PCGS uh, photo grade. Error relief. Thank you, Mantic Coins. So, size. There we go. All right. So. So far, we have the coin. We're able to look at the coin. We have the appropriate reference materials to ID the coin. Now let's talk a little bit about protecting the coin. Man. There are coin wrappers. These are hand roll wrappers. You could put one the 50 coins in these penny ones. There are different styles of coin tubes. You have ones for, for 
for cents, you have ones for, for nickels. Um, this one is for half dollars. They even have square tubes. They're round on the inside, so your coin will fit in there just like a regular round tube. Some people prefer these. You also have coin flips. And when the coin is in the flip, it looks like this. And stapled the coin flip. Now, I don't like the paper flips with the staples in them because you always have an opportunity of scratching a coin that is adjacent to this if you pick up the flips. And to help and to help with that problem, you could take anything and you could just smash down these staples so they're flat. You have plastic flips. These turn you can bend these over and you can, you can put your coin in on one side you have hard cable you have hard plastic flips you just open up a little just on a little tab you can take that out, you can put your coin in there. And you could snap you could snap it tight and it gives a nice protection. You could buy slabs. Same thing as the hard plastic, you put your coin in there. Um, snap it together, there's room on top where you could put a little piece of tape or a label on it and you can mark what that coin is. And then there are air tights. Now the air tights are real nice, it protects the coin real pretty. And you're able to examine the coin and look at it and you can put your fingerprints all over it and you're not messing up the coin. And you could, you could just take the uh, little cloth and wipe off your fingerprints on it and now you know your coin is going to be protected. There's also 2x2 two two coin pages. They normally come in a three ring binder setup. Supply your own binder. You could put a little piece of paper on the back side of it. I got mine upside down. The whole thing's upside down. You could slip your coin in there just like a just like a flip. So. Now that we've seen different things that you could use to protect your coin, you also got to be able to, to label your coin. And there are many different things you could do. Uh, one thing I I do not recommend is to take a sharpie and write on your coin. There are other avenues that could be used for that. And one thing is there are color coded labels. Labels are a great thing. They stick on, they stick off. You could write on them, you could cut them in half. They make dots. The dots fit perfectly on top of the coin tube lids and then you can mark them. Um, you could use the different
different color dots for different denominations. For instance, all of your pennies that you have or your cents, they could be marked with the red or that's pink. And you could use orange for nickels and green for dimes. So, and that works out good for marking your coins and not physically marking your coins. So, so what do we have so far? We have our coin. We're able to look at the coin. We have books and reference materials to ID the coin. We have coin protection. We have a way to mark the coin. That's just not the end of it there. You gotta be able to protect the holders that the coins are in. And you could use various things for that. The red box is really nice. It's two by two flips. They sit in the box. You could stack them up. You could close the box and then you could even put a little masking tape or something on it and you can mark what what they are canning jars for storage <laughs> you know what it's it's amazing you just got to think outside the box when you're when you're doing this if you have a whole bunch of coin tubes this is a $25 penny box. The coin tubes stack up real nice, four across, all the way up and down. When you got your when you got your coins labeled with the little dot, then you can look at them. So you just gotta think outside the box when you're thinking about types of storage. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, what is labels and flips and gloves, a loop, a USB have to do with coin supplies? It's all part of the game. It is all part of the game. Let's go over in chat, see what's going on over at chat over here. Low profile staples, yes. They do make low profile staples for the for the cardboard flips. Uh, Air tights, yes. Hi Joe Durbin, welcome. Who said moonshine? <laughs> Thanks, Paula. The moonshine just helps sitting in a chair for six to eight hours at a time, so, but, you also have digital scales. Now, if you go out and get yourself a digital scales, make sure you get one that has two spots past the decimal, because when you're weighing pennies, and you're looking for that that 82 small date copper you're going to want an exact membership on it or uh, you're going to need an exact weight on that so when you go out and look for them make sure it's two dots two spots past the decimal so you're going to get accurate weights Bunch of different things can be can be used. 
really got to think outside the box when you're when you're thinking of these. I got all kinds of stuff I use over here for coin storage. I use old butter dishes that have been cleaned out when I'm sorting. That's considered to be some type of a coin supply. Uh, uh, bank bags. Bank bags have a great uh, purpose for storing large quantity of coins. And then so you got the scales, the loops. Let's see if I'm missing anything. Cannon jars. Don't dot your coins, please. I'm just checking out chat, see what's going on around here, see who's dropping in, see if there's any questions. Taking my pennies out of a tin box, thinking of boxes. This is one of those little lane, little red cedar box. Don't put coins in red cedar and cedar boxes. You're going to ruin your coins. Other types of coin storages that are available is you have these Whitman hooks. put your coin into the corresponding date and they'll give you um, what the mintage is on them and they make them for all the coins there's large cents Lincoln cents Liberty heads if you want to up your game a little bit there's dance go albums these are real nice they got these little slide little clear sheets you take and you slide it out you put your coin in and not to be outdone there is also Littleton albums they're the same concept as the dance goes All kinds of different things that can be considered coin supplies. Um, you could even, I know where they're at, there they are. Let's say you're putting a set together and you can take your flips, you can put your coins in them in order, let's say, 1980, 81 through 2000, then then you could mark them. 1980s nickel set. You just get little sheets of paper and you wrap it around both sides, put a little piece of, piece of tape on it, and then there's your 80s nickel set all together and then these will stack up in the red boxes but you really can't close the lid on them but you're able to have two boxes that you could stack them in there like that Cigarette boxes are made of cedar. Yes, they are. The old ones are. The newer ones, I'm not sure. Let's see, uh, please hit the like button, everyone. Thank you, Lincoln. What's the 
What's the best paint for painting clad half rim silver? Painting the rim so they look like they're it's silver when you first that's that's interesting. I don't have an answer for that. I would guess some type of silver paint. Um, old pill bottles works great for quarters. Yes, they do. Um, I've seen many of collections inside old pill bottles. Um, I believe my grandmother used to keep her coins inside old pill bottles. What else? What else is going on here on chat? Not much. Chat's pretty quiet. Anybody got any questions? Any comments you want to add? You're killing me slowly with those painted half dollars. Yeah, that's just a bad joke, but it could be funny when someone's opening up a roll live and they see a nice silver rim on it. So, um, I, I am going to do a giveaway. And I do have... A night bot. And then. And the, oh, there we go. Um, next show. Trace Treasures. is going to be on an 8 p.m. Eastern. I believe. Yep, 8 p.m. Eastern. And he's going to be talking about coin education. So. Don't forget, we got a couple more shows tonight, and I believe after uh, Trace Treasures, between 9.30 and 11 o'clock, Ken Peavy is going to be doing the big show, and he's going to have a giveaway, and then tomorrow at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time is the, the recap for the Coin Seminar Weekend, and that's going to be hosted by Ken Peavy. We've had some great shows so far. It's been a wonderful weekend. All right. Uber Girl, did you come up with a name for... No, I did not come up with a name for my, uh, not my Nightbot yet. Um, frankly, I have not even... I have not even thought about coming up with a name for that yet um, just been busy got animals to take care of and getting the show set up and making sure I'm covering all my bases my my sister has pneumonia so I've been taking care of her and making sure she's comfortable and resting so it's it's been an interesting week it has been an interesting week indeed. Uh, see, Lincoln says blue bot. That's that could be very possibly the name of it. Maybe I'll come up with a giveaway on the name, and then we'll do a survey on coming up with a name for it. I'll do a giveaway to the the name that is picked. Too many options, too many things. So, all right. So, if everybody in the chat will write, type the giveaway keyword. Just put 1945, and then you're going to that will the nightbot will pick that up. <laughs> No, I don't have no game set up yet. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to do games. <laughs> I gamble, blues coins. <laughs> and hopefully I got this night bot set up correctly and it's going to pick up everybody. 
Hey, look at there. There we are. Let's go over here. Yeah. Looks like everybody is getting put in. It looks like I'm look like I did this right. I'm a little impressed myself. I'm not that computer smart, but I get stuff figured out. Uh, lucky coin hunter, you do not need to put an exclamation point in front of of the keyword. And there's the, the keyword. So if we go over here, and for the giveaway, I got this 1982 Lincoln cent that's going to be given away and all of these all of these pennies are shiners uh, Paula I have not messed with the puppies in a couple days um, mama's taking care of them real good so the winner is going to get this set and they're also going to get if I get it out of this bag Just one ounce copper, one dollar fake bill. And she's a shiner. Oh, thank you. I dug this shirt out of my closet. I had to up my game a little bit because Shay had on a real nice collared shirt on, and I'm like, oh, man, you made everyone look bad. <laughs> so, thanks, Mantic. <laughs> I think I own, like, three collared shirts, and this one is, didn't have no dust on it at the time. everybody in? Can y'all see that okay? I don't know where the name's going to come up at. Oh my goodness, we got a whole list of people in here. Alright. I see 22... 22 people. Evil Knievel called he wants his shirt back. That's... Thanks, Jay. <laughs> um, don't mind this. This is a nice pack for my neck. I've been overdoing it the last couple days staying up trolling around streams and I took my neck out. So. Alright. Let's get over to the giveaway. Alright. Let me see. Three, two, one. Laura Day. Congratulations. You won the Blues Coins giveaway. And up here, uh, you want it, underscore it now at yahoo.com is my email. Um, if you could send me your shipping address and your screen name so I know who it is. And then hopefully we won't have a problem with other people saying that they are you just to get free stuff. But I got 
got this 1982 penny set for you in this copper round. So congratulations. For real, yeah. You did it. The Nightbot picture. Just to make this simple, um, I do have a clue to give away. And for everyone that entered the giveaway, pretty much type the clue in the chat. But for those who might have missed it, I'll put it up there again. All right. There. The clue is gone. I hope you got it. If you didn't get it, watch this video over again. We got um, on the bottom of the the video there is a link to uh, the million penny project from Ken Peavy all the information is going to be put all the information is going to be there and we are on Sunday February 17th and next up is Trace Treasures p.m. there's also a link to the bottom of his of my stream here to to his uh, YouTube page I hope you all enjoyed this a couple more shows left and then the 2019 winter edition of coin seminar will wrap up on Monday night with Mr. Ken Peavy. So thank you very much all. I appreciate you stopping by. You blew up my chat. That's good. I don't care. Uh, thank you all for the kind words. I appreciate that. It's been an experience for me. And I hope you all enjoyed it. So Blues Coins is out. You all take care.